There are many ways we can use the normal distribution model. One way is to compare this theoretical model with an actual distribution from a set of data. To ask, does this distribution, this set of data, does it look like the normal distribution model? We call this the process of uh, approximating a normal distribution. Basically, the idea is, does this data set, is it approximately normal? Is, can it be approximated by the normal distribution model? So let's look at percent smokers. Here we have the normal distribution model. It's given by a mean and it's given by a spread. The important point here is that that blue line, that curve, that's the normal distribution model. That histogram is the actual distribution in our data. The, one of the reasons why you might check to see if a distribution is normal, to see if the empirical rule can be applied. Recall that the empirical rule is just sort of a rule of thumb and it says that if a set of data is roughly mound shaped and symmetric, then about you know, roughly 95% of the values are going to occur within two standard deviations to the mean. So uh, that's one way we might actually use a normal distribution model and compare it to a set of data. So in this case, um, it's roughly normal. If we look at percent heavy drinkers, we have this model based on this mean and this spread. And you look at the actual data, it's roughly normal okay, for a histogram. And then if we look at percent eating fruits and vegetables, comparing our set of data, the histogram, with that normal distribution model based on a mean of 23.4 and a spread of 3.34 squared, you can see that the model's roughly uh, in accordance with the data. So we might say, okay, you know, for each of these distributions, we could use the normal distribution model as an approximation for the actual distribution in the data. The important point is that what's useful about the normal distribution model is you only need two bits of information. You need the mean and the standard deviation, and then you have kind of a model for that distribution. You don't need 50 data points, you just need two bits of information. So these are the models. We have smokers, which is given by a mean of 21% uh, and a variance of 3.16 uh, squared. Then we have heavy drinkers, which is normally distributed roughly, centered on 4.9% with a variance of 1.21 squared. Then we have the percent eating fruits or vegetables. Uh, that's centered on 23.4% and its variance is 3.34 squared. We have these three different models based on these summary statistics from our data. The important point is that this is a model. The, the normal distribution is a model. Okay? The data, it, it's messy. Okay? It's sometimes above, sometimes below. But as a model, it's a rough approximation, but it's, it's approximately true. Okay? Here's the heavy drinkers. We have our model centered on 4.9%. And we have the data, the sort of histogram. And then for vegetables and fruits, we have a model centered on 23.4. And then we have the data. We have an approximation, and we have the actual data. The important point is that these distributions and the data are approximately mound-shaped and symmetric. And because of that, we can approximate these distributions using the normal distribution model, using these two values of a mean and a standard deviation. So you could use the normal distribution as a model for these actual data distributions. And again, this is very useful because you only need two values, the mean and the standard deviation. You do not need all 50 data points, just those two values. And for each of these three cases, we can approximate the actual distributions. And with that, we're going to explore how you can actually approximate uh, and compare a set of data with the normal distribution yourself.